Hey, what's up everybody? Snowy, back with another video. And today we're going to be going over all of the operators in Rainbow Six Extraction and ranking them based on how good I believe they are. The game has been out for a few days now, and overall I feel I have a pretty good idea of where each of them are going to fall in the meta. If this is your first time to the channel, I just want to say welcome. I make Rainbow Six Extraction videos and would love for you to consider hitting the like and subscribe button so you don't miss more videos like this one in the future. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and let's jump right into it. So, first up on this list we have Tachanka. Overall, I actually believe Tachanka is probably one of the worst operators in the game. He doesn't have terrible weapons. Um, this shotgun, the SAS G12, is probably the worst weapon in the game, but he does have some decent weaponry. Um, however, his ability is that he deploys a mounted LMG for anyone to use. This uh, game is all about pushing forward and moving in on your objective. And there's just not that many defensive situations in this game. But for the defensive situations that you do find yourself in, there's just operators that do it much better than uh, Tachanka. So for me personally, Tachanka is definitely D tier, probably the worst operator in the game. So. Next up we have Fuse. Uh, Fuse has probably the best weapon in the game. This 6P41 is insane. I believe it has 150 rounds in the magazine. The problem with Fuse though, however, is that he's a one speed operator, which is one of the two slowest operators in the game. And his ability is the same from Rainbow Six Siege. He deploys a remotely detonatable charges on walls but they're super loud and they get the attention of all the aliens so there's not too many situations in which you're gonna find yourself using uh, his ability also coupled with once again the speed he's just not the best operator in the game I would place him at the very bottom of C tier next up we have Capitao um, his weapon is pretty good, uh, not the best in the game by any means, but his ability is a uh, crossbow in which he gets two smoke bolts and two venom bolts. The venom bolts, however, are super weak and don't kill enemies really at all. Um, the enemies have to stand in the smoke for way too long of a time. And the smoke bolts are nice, but once again, you only get two. And you're allowed to use smoke grenades as a offhand gadget on any operator as it is. So Capitao is not a very good operator, and I'm placing him in the uh, in C as well. So next up we have Rook. Uh, definitely one of the better operators in the game. Um, I actually would place him S tier, so. He has the MP5 and the P90, which are both very respectable guns. Uh, tons of ammo and great for taking out um, pretty much any enemy in the game, especially the lower tier enemies. He uh, drops a pack of armor plates for the team, granting damage resistance. At level 10 for Rook, this is actually going to give you 40% damage resistance, which is insane. And also anyone who's wearing the armor always falls down instead of KO so basically if your teammates are going down they can just keep going down over and over again without fully dying and getting encased in foam so for me Rook is definitely S tier uh, highly recommend you guys play him in your games and use him in Maelstrom when you can so next up we have Jaeger Jaeger's gadget is the same as it is in Siege, uh, except it actually shoots aliens as well as takes out projectiles. Uh, super good gadget, um, great for defensive situations. I don't believe it to be one of the best gadgets in the game, because uh, once again, I just think uh, gadgets where you can push forward and use in team player better, but overall not too bad. and. 
This shotgun uh, that Jaeger has, the M870, is definitely one of the best weapons in the game. Has a super far damage range uh, and can one shot enemies and nests uh, from super super far. So definitely recommend you guys use this. Also, the enemy the, or the ammo economy on it is absolutely crazy, and you'll pretty much never run out of ammo with this thing. So definitely give it a try. So I am gonna place Jaeger in A tier. Next up we have IQ. Um, IQ is definitely a special operator. She uh, probably has the best weapon in the game. Uh, this AUG A2 assault rifle is super powerful. Um, I recommend not using a suppressor on it and using a suppressor on your secondary pistol instead and this thing's damage is just crazy so the recoil is also amazing and it has a mobility stat of 50 so IQ is absolutely insane her ability also lets you detect react equipment health and ammo and when you upgrade it you can also see blinding spores and the uh, blinding minds that sewers leave behind so I actually think IQ is the best operator in the game uh, placing her at the highest echelon of S tier um, I recommend you guys get her to level 10 as soon as possible and use her whenever you get a chance she's absolutely amazing next up we have gridlock uh, Gridlock's uh, best weapon is the F90 assault rifle. Um, pretty good weapon. The one downside to Gridlock is that she is a one speed operator. Uh, in this case I don't think it hurts her placement too much because her ability is crazy good. Uh, same as Rainbow Six Siege, she throws down her um, Caltrop traps and they slow enemies and also damage them. Uh, super good damage and super good utility um, and you get four of them. I think she's absolutely amazing for Maelstrom and great for using in uh, any defensive situation. So for me, I place a uh, gridlock in A tier. Next up we have Nomad. Uh, Nomad has the AK-74M assault rifle and this is her best weapon. It's got 40 rounds in a mag and it's got super good damage profile um, her ability is that she shoots proximity mines which knock back enemies uh, same from rainbow six siege and the amazing thing is once you upgrade it it also kills lower tier enemies i don't by any means think she's one of the best operators in the game but she's not bad at all and can pretty much be used in anything if you want uh, she's never going to be a bad option so I place Nomad in B tier. Next up is Smoke. Uh, Smoke got a much needed weapon change in this game. The L85A2 is one of his best weapons in this game. Um, he also has a shotgun you can pick from, but I definitely recommend taking the assault rifle. And his ability is the same from Rainbow Six Siege. He throws smoke grenades and they damage enemies. Um, I don't believe this is one of the better damage abilities in the game. I think a lot of other operators do what he does better. And for that I place him in um, B tier. So next up we have Ella. Ella has this Scorpion Evo 3 SMG. Uh, she also gets access to an LMG once you level her up and that is one of the better weapons in the game. Definitely recommend using that over the Scorpion Evo 3 as this gun has too much recoil so but her ability is that she throws sticky proximity mines and they stun enemies this is fantastic for taking out any of the bigger elite enemies in the game um, and overall I just think she's never gonna be a bad choice um, so I would place her in A tier and next up we have Sledge so Sledge also has the shotgun, but he also has the same weapon as Smoke, the L85A2. 
and that's probably the weapon I would choose for him. His hammer is great for, you know, opening up holes in walls, like rotation holes. And once you level it up to 10, you can also knock down the uh, big tanky enemies. So for that, it is fantastic. Uh, I think overall, he's one of the best operators in the game, but not like near the main top. So I put him at bottom of A tier for this list. And next up we have Alibi. Her weapon is the MX-4 Storm SMG, uh, which is not a very good weapon, but she also gets access to an LMG later on after leveling her up. And it is fantastic. Highly recommend using the LMG when you're running Alibi. And as for her ability, she deploys uh, clones of herself. Uh, holograms, basically, and it, the enemies attack the holograms instead of you. It's great for any sort of defensive situation once again. Uh, and I think overall, with her gun coupled with the utility of her gadget, she gets a uh, good spot in uh, the middle of A. So Next up we have Lion. Originally on my uh, speculative tier list, I placed him near the bottom. Um, but my mindset has completely changed on him. The V308 assault rifle is super amazing. This is the gun you're going to want to use. A 50 round magazine, great damage. And his ability has a super far range and it gives you wall hacks for a, quite a long time. And it recharges, you don't even have to uh, pick up a bag to recharge it, it just recharges on its own. So he is super crazy and I recommend using him whenever you can in Maelstrom for sure. So he gets a spot uh, in the middle of S tier for me. Next up we have Vigil. Uh, Vigil's K1A1 is a pretty good uh, SMG um, and his other weapon options are pretty good too. None of his weapons stand out too too much to me but um, his ability makes him invisible and disrupts enemies, and it also uh, lets your teammates do that as well once you fully upgrade it. Uh, I don't, however, think his gadget brings that much utility because you're never really going to be running past enemies. You're going to want to take them out. Uh, I don't think he's the worst operator, but overall I do think he still finds a spot in B tier. Uh, so. Next up we have Habana. She has the Type 89 AR, but it has a super high recoil, and I recommend switching to her MP5 as soon as possible. Um, you get it at level 9 I believe, so it is quite a grind, but definitely use that once you get it. And her ability is that she shoots remotely detonatable sticky explosives, same as Siege, and you can blow through walls with this. But I actually find that the better way of using these is just to shoot them at enemies or at the floor near enemies, and it'll blow up the enemies. So it's great for taking out, uh, like, tormentors, for example. Um, I don't think she's super amazing, but she's definitely usable. And she could help out a lot with taking out tormentors, once again, in, like, a maelstrom. So I placed her at the... Uh, top end of B. Uh, next up we have Finca. Finca has crazy good guns. She has the same LMG that Fuse has, which is probably one of the best weapons in the game, as well as the Spear 308, which is an amazing assault rifle. For her ability, she gives you and your teammates all 15 temporary health when popping it, and it also can revive any downed teammates. This is great. Uh, overall, it's just a nice support ability. And Finca will never be a bad option on your team for this tier list. I've placed her in um, S tier. I think she's super good, and you guys should use her whenever you can in Maelstrom. Next up is Pulse. I uh, had placed Pulse pretty high in my other uh, video however I do think now he's actually the worst intel operator not bad by any means but um 
His weapon choices aren't that great. His best weapon is probably the 5.56 assault rifle. Um, and he's he can see VIPs, MIAs, and enemy nests through obstacles. It's not a bad intel gadget, but I don't have problems finding the nest myself personally. And I imagine you guys don't either, so that's why I think... um. The other agents like IQ are much better because you can find things that you wouldn't normally be able to find on your own, like blinding spores. So I just think her intel is much better. But um, I still find Pulse to be pretty good and I placed him at the very top of B. Uh, definitely usable, uh, for sure. So, And then next up we have Doc. Doc's always going to be a good choice. He has the P90 and MP5 as well, same as Rook. And it's very good weapon choices. And his ability uh, is that he fires a health pistol to give 15 temp health or revive his down teammates. Overall, it's pretty good. Um, I don't think he's better than Rook at all. I would definitely choose Rook over him if you had the choice. But health is never a bad thing, so... For this list, I did end up putting Doc at the top of A, so I think overall this is where most of the operators are sitting. Um, maybe a few of them can be flipped around in their respective categories, however I do think these are the categories in which they fall in, but if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe as it helps smaller channels like this one grow, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Snowy out.